This is 16.6 Bacterial Sexually Transmitted Disease Notes. The essential question is, what are the major STDs caused by bacteria and what are their signs and symptoms? Number one symptom of any type of STD is that there is no symptom. They're asymptomatic. And the birth controls do not prevent spread of STDs or STIs. Only uh, latex condoms can prevent spread of STDs. And the only sure way of 100% of not getting STDs is abstinent, which means not having sex. STD stands for sexually transmitted disease. They're also called STI, meaning a sexually transmitted infection. The reason we call it an infection is because it is spread through from person to person through sexual contact. Sexual intercourse includes oral and anal sex. Also, certain type of STIs can be transmitted just by contact with the oral or genital contact or body-to-body -body contact, any contact that requires transmission of the, the um, parasite or virus or bacteria can cause a spread of the infection. General symptoms of STIs is, number one, no symptom. There can be so sores, either painful sores or most of the time painless sores. There can be blood in the urine or burning sensation during urination. There can be rashes and itching or some type of bumps or warts or any kind of unusual discharge. Uh, unusual and different types of colors in discharge can indicate um, STIs. Signs and symptoms of any type of STI can show up um, within two weeks of after the sexual contact. And highest rate among teenage girls are between the ages of 15 and 19 years of age. And highest rates for males would be ages between 20 and 24. And in, if you are thinking or you might think that you might have an STI, the best way to do is get checked out by a healthcare provider or planned parented clinics. And the only way you can be tested is to be asked. You must ask to have an STI a test done. They don't routinely do it through um, regular checkup. Like females go to um, gynecologists for a pap smear. They do not do a check unless you ask for it. Chlam chlamydia is the most common type of STD. And about 4 million new cases occur each year. And it is caused by a bacteria. And bacterial infections can be cured by taking antibiotics. Symptoms in males can be um, discharge from the penis or burning sensation during urination, burning and itching around the opening of the penis, and painful pain and swelling in the testicles. And if there is a um, if the infection progresses further, there could be a some type of fever and inflammation in the testicles and even in the epididymis. In females, there may be no symptoms or there could be white or gray vaginal discharge. And when we talk about discharge, it means that it's unusually higher than normal. And there could be also burning sensation during urination. Uh, if untreated, there could be lower pelvic or abdominal pain, and that could progress. And anytime there is a pelvic inflammatory, uh, inflammatory disease or PID, it could lead to infertility if not treated. There could also be uh, bleeding between menstrual periods, and again, low-grade fever due to infection in, due to PID. Gonorrhea is another uh, STI that is caused by a bacteria, approximately 650 100,000 people are infected with each year with you, uh, in the U.S. It is another common STI. It is spread from close sexual contact, can be spread from mother to child during childbirth, and, and a lot of these discharge, anywhere that the discharge comes in contact with can cause an infection. So the infection can be around the mouth, the throat, in the eye, and the anus or the rectal region, including all the genital region also. Symptoms in males could be a yellow or white drip, meaning that there is a unusually high amount of discharge from the penis. There could be burning or pain during urination, and there is frequent urination, and that you could have also have swollen testicles. 
Symptoms in females are also the yellow or white discharge from the vagina. Maybe burning or pain when urinating. You keep bleeding between periods and heavier or more painful periods. You could have cramps or pain in the lower abdomen due to pelvic inflammatory disease. And because of the infection, there could be nausea or a fever associated with it. If left untreated, it can lead to infertility in both sexes, and it can be cured with antibiotics in early stages. Next is syphilis. And with syphilis, you can go years without symptoms, and you might not even know that you have an infection. It is caused by bacteria and can be cured with antibiotics in early stages. It is spread from person to person through um, contact, sexual contact, but it can also be um, spread through um, sores, coming in contact with sores associated with syphilis or coming in with the semen or vaginal fluids. Anywhere that fluid may get to, it can cause an infection. Symptoms go through various stages. Early symptoms are there could be painful sores at point of contact. They're called cankers. Cankers can turn uh, to copper color skin rashes on hand and feet, or it could even actually cover entire bodies. And then symptoms may go away after a while. So the person might not know that they are infected. Later symptoms could include fever, headache, and loss of appetite. Symptoms these will disappear again, but because the bacterium remains in the body, it will eventually travel to other organs, including the brain, the eyes, the heart, uh, your muscles, other nerves. And then years later, 10, 30, uh, 20, 30 years later, you could have paralysis due to the nerve damage. You could have weakness um, or eventually if it gets into the heart, it could cause a heart attack and it could cause death if it gets into the brain. 16.6 notes homework. Number one, how are signs and symptoms for chlamydia and gonorrhea similar and different? Number two, what are early and later symptoms of syphilis? Number three, what is the number one symptom of any STD and how are STDs diagnosed and how are they treated?